Good afternoon. It is 12.59 galactic time. Um, this was going to happen yesterday, but uh, things took a little longer than expected. So in my last video, we were going through um, uh, data delivery missions out of uh, Allen Hub in Upsilon Aquarii. And the idea being that we were trying to get allied with all the various uh, factions there uh, so that we could then do passenger missions in a T9, uh, long haul flight to Smeaton, which is, it's only one jump away, I think, um, but it's like 1.8 million light seconds from the jumping star, so you got 40 minutes in Super Cruise, but they pay out big time, hopefully. So uh, apparently this is still working, the, this mission um, sort of, uh, not in balance, it's not really a, a something that I think needs nerf, and it's just that it's a it's a quite a nice way of getting some some uh, some cash for quite a short run really um so uh i've done uh, a couple of days ago i did the video and said hopefully tomorrow we'll do uh, this bit of it i took an extra day of doing data delivery missions so i think i did about um four or five runs on the first night after the one that i did on the video and then I did the next day about another four or five runs and then this morning I did uh, one run uh, just to finish off one particular um, faction which they weren't given as many missions as the others so everybody else I'd got all either fully allied or just barely into the allied box um, if we have a look uh, yeah I can show you Uh, so yeah, so we're allied with, um, they're the um, dominant faction here, as I understand it. And then this was the uh, the last one, which I just, just ticked it over the edge. So, so that's good. But we don't need missions now, we need uh, passenger lounge. So um, let's get into it then. So I've got my, flew the Asp Explorer back home to Shinrata, switched it out into the T9. Came all the way back at six jumps, nothing too drastic. Um, so we're looking for missions to, uh, well there's the first one there, LTT9360. This should be to Smeaton Orbital, there we go. Now I did pull, uh, I came over here completely, no shields on the T9, uh, just uh, passenger cabins and a docking computer because I don't want to smack the ship onto the side of the station on the way in and have passengers eject in panic and lose mission money. So. Uh, I did switch out one of my little um, three slot um, passenger cabins for cargo because a lot of these missions of course are going to give us cargo and even if you just jettison the stuff after you've received it or sell it off at a commodity market if you don't have the cargo space you can't complete the mission and you'll end up having to abort it and I guess that's going to affect your rank with the faction and what have you so I did that before we got started I didn't do it until I got here but thankfully Alan Hub's got quite a nice um, uh, set of stuff you can buy for your ships so if we have a look at some of these things now that I'm allied I was getting you know 36,000 no, this sort of money really but this is two tourists to Smeaton and it's 2.1 mil so it's considering we've only got to do one jump and then about 40 minutes in super cruise providing they're not wanted they are wanted Okay, um, <clears throat> that might not be ideal, but we'll we'll see. I've had a lot of hostile ships will be sent against you, um, do the data runs, and the very first run, as you saw in the video, I think I interdicted three times, uh, and after that, I didn't get interdicted once. So I'm hoping uh, it'll be the same with this. So what we'll do is we'll go through and look at any missions that need smeaten, and we'll see about taking on all of the ones that don't have wanted. You know, ships will come after you, kind of thing. Uh, first, and then we'll look at doing um, the more risky ones, sticking them on the ends, just in case we've, we've got space left. So, um, LTT, no, nothing there. LTT, so that's thirteen aid workers. Oh, hostile ships. Is this going to be the thing that they're all going to be, all going to be wanted? Yep. Oh, 
Sorry, I was just about to do a big sneeze then. Um, nothing there. Okay. So I think, really, we've, we're going to just have to take them on and see what happens. Smeaton. And because it's um, economy cabins, it's just a case of pack them in. Meeting. See, 19 million. I mean, that's that's worth the gamble. I think the rebuy on this ship's about 3.9. In doing the data delivery missions as well, <clears throat> what I found was you'll obviously you'll get um, donation missions crop up as well at the, along the way, and just throw money at that. Um, but also, when you get to the place you're delivering, the same faction is is usually there as well. And see if they've got any donation missions you can just do quick. In fact, on the very last run I did, I had um, a mission which was data delivery back to Allen Hub. So I just tacked that on the end for the uh, faction that I was trying to boost. And did one extra mission on the way home, which I hadn't realised in the other missions. Um, that, of course, the, of course, the faction is usually in nearby systems as well. Uh, no more in there. And... No more in there. Right, so. Now, we board flip. Let's have another look in there. Populate, populate. Come on, servers. There we go. Uh, Slough orbital, the cheese wheel. Fantastic. Uh, requirements not met. Nothing. Okay. <clears throat> Switch out again. I think I've maybe put about ten or fifteen million in donations. So uh, obviously looking to get that back straight away. But we should be able to start um, stacking these up, assuming that we get some decent looking missions, and then we can be on our way. And I won't video the 40 minutes of flying there. It's uh, that's really not not what it's about. Um, okay. Oh, here we go. 25 mil for 24 aid workers. Smeaton. Oh, 23 aid workers for 21 million. Let's meet an orbital. So I haven't seen a mission where people aren't going to come after us. 15 refugees for 20 million. Not the sound of that. Smeet and orbital. And always double check. Just have a glance at the, the mission down here. There's a few little trick things in here like, you know, somebody wants to go to Hutton Orbital to get a mug. Um, not necessarily at this station, but at stations. Um, just have a look at what, where they want to go. Make sure they're not wanting to go somewhere else as well. And also make sure that they uh, aren't going to be trying to pay you in uh, commodities or something like that. Especially if you don't have those cargo pods. Because it's even though we've taken on several missions so far with cargo as part of the reward... We'll have to deliver one and then dump the cargo and then deliver the next mission and dump the cargo. We can't just deliver all of them out because we won't have enough cargo space to... Oh, it's unlikely anyway that we'll have enough cargo space to get 
all of that on board. So let's have a look. I think. There you go for the mug. So chances are, if we have a look at this, where does he want to go? System Alpha Centauri for the mug. So that could backfire on some unsuspecting, uh, unsuspecting commander. Right. So that's. Uh, one round of solo, private group, and open. Let's get back to the main menu. Do that again. Okay, so that didn't take too long. Um, about five, ten minutes or so. Um, I've managed to pick up enough missions that I've only got about two seats free on the ship. So these are every single one of them. Ships may be sent after us. And... Um, Every single one of them uh, is going to Smeaton. So what we will do is we will now get in there and set our jump and our target. Here it is. 1,871,716 light seconds. So that's quite a ways out right so we'll get underway we'll jump into the system and uh, again I'll pause the recording so that we can um, see the end result uh, money wise versus time so it's about quarter past one and we will be leaving the station landing gear retracted Two jumps gets you clear of the station pretty quick. Uh, two jumps, two boosts, sorry. And then the mass lock light will go out and we can jump. This is the um, ship by the way. <coughs> Renamed it because it isn't a medical ship anymore back to what it was before, which was Red Dwarf. Okay. Let's get a look at the horrendous time it thinks it's going to take to get there. So we're in Super Cruise at the moment, 30 days. Ah, here it comes. Right, uh, there's somebody, a couple of people on the radar actually, so. I guess we'll see if they're interested in me or not. Hopefully, I'm not going to get interdicted the whole way there, because that would be a right pain. Um, right, well, anyway, I will see you in about 40 minutes. Okay, so we're back, and uh, we've just. we've. On final approach into Smeet Orbital, we've had two interdictions already, um, and it was just a case of uh, throwing a chaff. Here's some more. Um, throwing out a chaff, boosting away, and jumping back to Super Cruise. But it's just this. Now we're getting down to like a couple of megameters. They're going to interdict you right, and then right at the last second, and then you're going to be thrown out a couple of light seconds normally. We might, fingers crossed. Come on. Two, one. There we go, right, so it looks like we're in. And. Let's get in. 
Now I don't know, I didn't really look at the details, but I don't know if anybody um, that we're transporting is sensitive to ship scans. So if they are, we're, we're bound to get ship scanned in a second and they may decide to leave me or abort the mission or whatever. So let's let Autodoc do its business. So we've got no... Oof, that was close. There we go. So as you can see, it dropped down to 92% hull. Um, the guy, the first interdiction, managed to get a few laser blasts in and uh, did a little bit of damage. But I didn't want to travel for. Um, but what time did we ma did we make it? It was about quarter past when we set out. So yeah, it's about three quarters of an hour, like uh, like people have been predicting. And um, I just didn't want to mess it up at the last last stage. So here we go. Landing gear deployed. And save and sand. So, <coughs> excuse me. While we're here, let's just get that done. So we're at one billion four hundred and forty-five million. So, 445 million, let's have a look. Incoming message. So, that was only 2 million. Incoming message. 20 million. Incoming message. So there we go, so our cargo hold is full. We can get rid of these people because they're not giving us any cargo. And what we'll do now is we'll jump out to commodities market and just sell off this. Doesn't matter if we make a loss at it or anything like that. We just want the space back. There we go. So now that what that'll have done is released up the other um, seeds, so there was a lot more message. listed now. Um, Incoming message. 16. Incoming message. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. 13, right, so. And again, without having that cargo space on board, um, You'd be stuck. You you couldn't complete the mission. There we go. Okay, now. Incoming message. Twenty-five mil. Incoming message. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. There we go. And one last check. <clears throat> there we go, that looks clear. Let's just check. Yeah. So the transactions are good. So what was it? Four hundred and fifty something? Uh, so 100 and about, uh, what, 120 mil, 110 mil, something like that. So that's not bad for about an hour's work. Um, I'm sure I can get more with a different ship or um, um, better planning uh, as far as the, taking the missions in the first place go. But as a first run, that certainly um, brought back all of the money that I've used to get to, to begin this uh, set of missions. And then some. So that's very good. So um, let's have a quick look at the time. Where are we? Two o'clock. We started this, it was 11.50 something. So we were two hours um, all in along with 
you know, getting there and arriving and what have you. Um, no, was it or was it 12.57? Ah, oh, I forget. Oh, well. You'll see at the beginning of the video. Um, right, so there we go. Um, that is doing passenger missions from Upsilon Aquarii to Speed Orbital in LTT... Uh, let's get the number right. LTT 9360. Um, bit of a cash cow. And uh, give it a go. See what you think. Uh, as usual, uh, if you like the video, uh, thumbs up and all of that stuff. Um, if you didn't like it, think I'm wasting my time. A bit of constructive criticism in the comments doesn't go amiss. Um, and uh, I think I'm going to be doing a few runs of this uh, to build some cash back up. And then we can perhaps have a look at what next to attempt. So uh, have fun, folks. Uh, don't get shot down. And uh, see you in the next one. Ta-da!